morning to all of you as you know that uh, till now we are dealing with the topics of physics section of class 10th science on um, whatsapp videos now today onwards we will start with youtube so let's start sometimes we use uh, whatsapp also but i will prefer i will try to make uh, videos and i will try to uh, upload those videos on my youtube channel i hope you like this now let's start we are dealing with the chapter light only one or two topic is left now let's start with the topics that is left the topic that is left is your refraction through a glass slab now let's start i am going uh, to do this topic on a two way so that your practical uh, part will also be in Mm, taken care of and at the same time if you understand the practical part you will definitely understand the theory portion of this now this is your white sheet i am going to fix it on hard notebook so that it will not move i have i don't have cardboard that's why Now let's start. This is a glass slab. I have put it in center. I am making boundaries. So now I am going to remove it. So from here. so this is a i am giving it a name a b c d now let's start this is a protector as you can see now this line i am going to put it on one boundary that is ab now so as you can see this is your 90 degree now so this is our normal this point is our normal now let's start this point is our normal so as you can see now i suppose the light ray that is coming on a glass slab i suppose that at an angle of 30 degree i suppose so i suppose this is 90 degree this is 80 this is 70 this is 60 so 90 to 80 10 80 to 70 20 70 to 60 30 i mark this point and this is our incident ray as you can see at an angle of 30 degree so i'll say 30 degree with the normal so this is incident ray i name it as ir clear so this is normal n i will name it as o and this is n dash i hope it is clear to you now actually so if it this will be the path like this now let me put this glass slab exactly inside the boundaries now is it okay now i will put these pins on two pins
depends on the incident ray. I suppose this is pin 1 and this is pin 2. As now this is the part which you have to see as this is air and this is glass. Air is a rarer medium and glass is a denser medium. So when a light from a rarer medium enters a denser medium, it bends towards the normal. So let me see from this side, let me see where I can see these two pins. As you can see, come to this side. As you can see, th these are the two pins here. So, as when I am want to see these two pins from the face C, D, as you can see, I can see these two pins. I can uh, open my, uh, I can keep open only one eye and other eye I am going to keep a hand on that eye. So, where I am going to see these two pins from the CD, I am going to put pins there only. Sorry. This is one. This is the straight line. Yes. Here. And second pin is here only the straight line so as you can see from here these are the two pins here and you can see these two pins from C D in a straight line only like this so now what I am going to do I am going to and I am going to circle these points here also here also I am going to Join. So here will be normal like this only. I am going to draw normal. So when a sorry, little bit towards there will be problem here. So, when this is a rarer medium, this is a denser medium. As you know that when light goes from a rarer medium to a denser medium, it bends towards the normal. So, it go like this. is bending towards the normal so here I can measure an angle you what is the this is the incident angle angle I here what is the angle as you can see this is 90 degree 90 to 80 is 10 80 to this is 15 degree. It means angle of refraction is 15 degree. Here also it will be 15 degree only because alternate angles. Yes. 15 degree. This is again normal and O and dash now as you can see 
this is the actual path and when this is the actual path of the light so when a light we are viewing from a glass lab we are uh, seeing a shift in a light so this shift between the actual path and the emergent light so this is the this is the incident ray this is the refracted ray and the refracted ray at the boundary is again coming out of the glass lab so this ray is known as the emergent ray kya bolenge aap is ray ko emergent ray so this is the emergent ray so this is the actual path of the light so this there is a shift in the path so this distance between the original path of the light and the emergent ray is known as the lateral shift is known as the lateral shift and let's suppose this angle also let's measure this angle also this is 90 degree this is exactly coming out to be equal to 30 degree angle e is also equal to 30 degree so this activity also proves that angle of incidence is also equal to angle of emergence so from an activity through a glass lab now let me show you your ncert this is the topic which we have discussed so i hope you will understand it now and uh, one more thing i want to share it with you what are the factors in on which lateral shift depends there and uh, what are the factors on which lateral shift depends lateral shift depends on basically four factors one is directly proportional to the thickness this ac this is the thickness of a glass slab so more the thickness more the thickness more will be the lateral shift always remember more the thickness this i suppose this lateral shift to be d more will be a uh, lateral shift more the thickness more will be lateral shift this arrow in means increase in thickness means increase in lateral shift and second factor is it varies directly with the angle of incident so if i suppose this angle to be greater than 30 degree then obviously this distance will also increase because when this distance this is 30 degree at like here when i am going to increase this angle to incident ray will be like this only so obviously when that ray comes and falls on a glass slab then this will also change so more the angle even you can write directly proportional to directly proportional to yes directly proportional to incident angle angle i this is first this is second and third third is it is directly proportional to the refractive index of the glass slab directly proportional to n that is reflective index refractive index of glass i suppose n so directly proportional to n and fourth one on three factors it approaches directly and the last factor it approaches approaches inversely that is inversely proportional to the wavelength of light inversely proportional to wavelength of light inversely proportional to wavelength of light it means 
वॉयलेट कलर के लिए आपके पास एज नाउ लेट आई कैन विल नॉट डिस्कस दैट वी विल डिस्कस इट लेटर ऑन इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू वेव लेंथ ऑफ लाइट इट मीन्स इफ वेव लेंथ इज मोर देन लिटरल शिफ्ट विल बी लेस आई होप यू लाइक दिस एज एट द सेम टाइम यू कैन गो थ्रू यू कैन टेक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एंगल्स right now i have done this for 30 degree you can do it for 40 degree you can do it for 50 degree you can do it for 60 degree and always remember angle of incidence is always equal to angle of emergence thank you